everybody and welcome back to my channel if you haven't guessed already this is a valentine's day inspired look um, since it's the month of February and Valentine's Day is around the corner I thought I'll do a video to show you on a little bit more glammed look that you could do if you're going out on a date or you're just going out to celebrate being single um, or if you just like to recreate this look it's um, more of a cranberry inspired look and I added a little bit of glitter so it's much more glammed um, I tried not to use too many different products in this um, eye look so um, yeah if you want to see how I created this look then please keep watching okay, so I'm going to start off by priming off my skin and I'm using my benefit professional primer for that and I'm just going to use it on the areas that I tend to have larger pores, which is around here. So for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. Um, I'm going to be mixing the Clinique Beyond Perfecting one and this Maybelline um, Fit Me Poreless Foundation. I'm done with the foundation. I'm going to come back with my concealer and my highlighting and contouring later on. I just want to go straight to the eye look because we're going to be using some glitter. So if I get any fallout, I want to be able to wipe it away and then do my concealer. But before I do that, let me prime my eyelids. And for that, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer. So this is just going to help the eyeshadow stay on longer, prevent it from creasing or clumping up and transferring to your upper lids. Okay, and then to set that um, primer, which I like to do, I'm using my Stiller Eyes are the Window Shadow Palette in Spirit, the shade here. Okay, this is just going to help set primer and form a base for whatever colors we're going to do afterwards so now going into my uh, morphe palette i'm going to be picking up the shade here and using that as a transition color i'm using a morphe pointed blending brush for that so we're going to get into the crease of your eye and just blend the shade out so start off with a light amount first and then you can always build on it just blending as you go around and you can take it to the inner corner too but keeping it on the upper end of the crease I'm picking up um, my MAC eyeshadow in the shade Swiss Chocolate. It's a cocoa based shade with that same brush. Just going to define the crease a bit more. Okay, but now we're trying to keep this shade on the crease line and then dragging it to the inner lid, not taking it too much. Out. And then with that same color, I'm going to start winging it out lightly in the outer V. Next, using a uh, MAC 217 flat blending brush, we're going back into my Morphe 35C palette and I'm going to be mixing cranberry shade together. And starting at the outer V gonna lay that color on so you're just gonna put this color over the like the outer one third of the eye and then we're going to take the same color on the inner 
thud. So then again start off with small amounts and then build it from there. And try not to go into our transition area, just keeping it on the lid and then leaving this inner space blank. And then you're going to pick up the Swiss chocolate shade from MAC again and blend just so that there isn't any harsh lines. Okay, next for um, the center of the eye, going back into the Stella pa palette and using this um, burgundy shimmer shade here then a flat synthetic eyeshadow brush okay so for the glitter today i'm using this inglot glitter in number 82 it's a rose gold two-tone kind of shade. I don't know if you can see it here. So using a, a, a flat synthetic brush, just going to take a little bit of this pigment and place it at the center of my eye. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on keeping it only in the center, giving it a halo effect, and just blend it into the side. That looks pretty. Okay, this is the fallout that I was talking about, but don't stress. We'll be able to wipe that away. It's fine. So I'm picking up... Um, a makeup wipe it's gonna dust off whatever fallout we had here lightly I'm gonna go with a little bit of a heavy duty concealer and for that I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm in NC35 using one of my oval brushes just to Place the product. So we're just gonna highlight the high points of our face using a damp beauty blender. Start blending it. Okay, so next, picking up my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. Just gonna dust a little on my hands and set all those places I highlighted. Okay, now it's time to do my eyebrows. And I'm just going to fold them off camera quickly. Okay, so next for contour, I'm picking up my um, NYX, NYX palette. And I'm going to be mixing three, these three shades here. And for that, I'm using an angled BH Cosmetics contour brush. Just going to carve out my cheekbones quickly. I'm going to finish off the eyes um, with the black liner using my Inglot number 77 gel liner and a thin eyeliner brush. Ok, 
Okay, next is mascara. And for mascara today, I've been trying out a different mascara. Um, it's actually the Colossal um, Chaotic Volume Express Maybelline Mascara. And I've been really liking it. It really does make my lashes look more voluminous. Voluminous? Yeah, voluminous. Just gonna give it one coat, one coat. On a generous coat. Taking a, a fluffy pointed brush and going back into the Morphe palette and picking up this burgundy shade here. Just gonna run it, my lower lash line quickly. Just lightly. Tap it first, and then using a, a flat-ended synthetic brush, I'm picking up a dark brown eyeshadow from the same Morphe palette, and just running it as close to my lash line as possible. So for lashes today, I'm going to try this um, limited edition eyelid lashes in um, urban tropic and that's going to finish off the eyes with mascara on my lower lashes for highlights i'm using my new ofra highlighter in beverly hills okay so there's a spectrum of shades here but since we're into the rose gold and cranberry shades, I'm going to be using this rose gold as a highlighter. Just on the high points of my cheeks. And for that I'm using the Real Techniques uh, setting brush. Just tap here. Cupid's bow. Okay, next for blush, you know I'm going to, I'm going to be using my favorite blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And I like this palette because there's a range of shades here. So, I mean, I don't need anything more. <laughs> so, I'm going to... Um, Keep it a bit neutral on the cheekbones. So I think I'm gonna mix these two shades together. And again, I'm using my uh, Real Techniques blush brush. Okay, so to finish off the looks, I'm using my MAC lip liner in cork. And for lipstick, I'm using my uh, liquid lipstick from Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Tuscany. Okay, I think I want to lighten this look color. And to use this uh, NYX lip cream in the shade London, and just because I want to lighten up the lip. It's okay, but too pink. everything in place using my Urban Decay All Nighter because you want your makeup to stay on the whole night long. Any setting spray you'd like. Um, NYX has a nice one I know. L'Oreal has a real nice a mattifying one. I know where mine is. Somewhere around here. Or you could use just use MAC uh, Fix Plus spray. So I'm just going to use the Urban Decay one. Mm -hmm. 
this is the l'oreal gloss in extreme resist gloss 507 called resist me it has like a little shimmer sparkles in it in a nude shade this is a real glam valentine's day look uh thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.